Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, mod showcase for this time for Rome Remastered's new modding patch. So uh, this patch, like I said, it released a lot of new tools for modders, including mapping tools, tools to edit the remastered models for units and things of that nature. Uh, it, it also lifted some of the modding limits, including for resources, map regions, um, but not for factions yet. Now, I think that lifting the map regions limit is huge, and uh, this is one of those mods that can really take advantage of that. This is the update for Total Conquest, uh, which is a mod I covered several weeks ago on the channel, a couple months ago. It came out close to the release of Rome Remastered. It was one of the first major mods out. And uh, the creator, Commissar, he has uh, updated the mod already for the new patch. It came out simultaneously with the new beta patch. So um, the new beta patch uh, has caused, you know, a lot of mods to need updating. So if you do get the beta patch and you do play with some Rome Remastered mods, then those mods have to be updated before you can uh, use them with the patch. So if you like playing with those mods, I suggest reverting back to the non-beta version. Uh, but if you do want the beta version, then this is one of those mods that will work with the new beta patch. And uh, Total Conquest is a mod I talked about before, and it adds a couple of factions, so it combines Rome into one faction, and it adds Epirus and the Achaean, uh, the Achaean League. Uh, so these factions, of course, replace the uh, two Roman families, right? So Epirus replaces the Brutii, as you can see, actually, this 2D art here on the Mundus Magnus map. Uh, has not been changed, as well as the Achaean League, where they replaced the Scipii. And, um, yeah, Rome is combined into one faction. Now, uh, this mod does a, has a lot of other changes, including uh, battle balance, uh, hoplites are able to fight like actual hoplites, so the overhand uh, spear wall instead of the regular phalanx mode for hoplites in, as they have in the original Rome. So uh, this is a very interesting mod. I uh, I quite like it. Uh, the and now the mod has also been ported to Mundus Magnus, the huge Mundus Magnus map that stretches from uh, the Iberian Peninsula all the way to the Indus Valley. Now let's uh, start off here as the uh, Cayenne League, and I'll showcase the beautiful map which does look wonderful indeed. So this mod is, of course, still a work in progress, no doubt. But I have to say, it's developing quite nicely. And with the new map, uh, I think this mod has a lot of potential, especially once the faction limit has been increased. Because, of course, uh, these faction, the new factions are on the Mediterranean. You know, they're in... Um, Greece and the Balkans, so, you know, they don't, the mod doesn't actually take advantage of the parts of Central Asia and the Indus Valley, Near East, that are added here. It does take advantage since, of course, Parthia can actually be in its historically accurate location, right? So here we have the new map. So, spoiler alert, I am going to uh, show the map here. I showed off an earlier version of Mundus Magnus a long time ago. I think it was uh, close to the release of Rome Remastered, or maybe a month after. And uh, here is an updated version of Mundus Magnus. I think this version has also been tweaked by uh, the maker of Total Conquest. So... Uh, I'm not sure if I have my vibrancy up quite a bit. It looks very vibrant. I actually like the way it looks. It kind of reminds me of the campaign map in Total War Troy. So uh, I actually like Troy's map. That's one of the parts of Troy that I really like, the look of the campaign map. I think it's one of the best looking maps Creative Assembly has created for a Total War game in a long time. Maybe since Chogun 2's map. But uh, this map looks nice as well. I have to say, uh, it looks very, it looks very nice. It's pleasing. It's pleasing. Uh, perhaps I'll end the turn here so we can see what the map looks like with, um, 
with uh, when it's not winter, right? So we've got Parthia in a more accurate location. We don't have Bactria. I think with Mundus Magnus, you need uh, Bactria and you need perhaps a Saka faction up here. Right, Saka, Halma Varga, or Tigra Chauda, something like that. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the Indus Valley over here, looking quite nice. Of course, when I showed Mundus Magnus before the Indus Valley, um, it didn't have the Indus River. I think it was not complete at all. Here is an updated version of that. Uh, I believe the Nile also was not completed either, so now the Nile looks much nicer. I have to say, this map lo is looking good. It's not a fully done version. They are still working on this map and others as we speak. But things are looking very nice. And of course, uh, we all know that Mundus Magnus is more historically accurate than um, the vanilla map. It's a lot larger uh, and it's a lot nicer. It's a map I really like, so it's very good to see. There are, of course, still some issues. Of course, the city in Caucasian Albania is Albana, uh, when it should be Gabala or Kabalaka, right? So that's something that should be changed. Um, additionally, everything else I have to say looks quite nice. So I'm very happy about this update. You can see Epirus here controls Tarentum and Umbrachia. And at the start of this mod, you have Purus of Epirus and uh, Vibius Julius ready to duke it out here in southern Italy. And Epirus controls Cosentia and uh, Tarentum. And uh, the Greek cities control Kalipolis right here in the south. Uh, the Greek cities in this mod, uh, it's interesting because they're actually, it's actually Rhodes, Syracuse, Kalipolis, Massilia, Hemeroskopeion, Emporion, and if I'm not mistaken, the Chimerian Bosporus city, so Kersonesos and uh, Panticapion. So uh, that's a very interesting way of representing the Greek city's faction here in this mod. And of course, we have the Achaean League, made up of uh, Athens and Sparta down here and not this city called Achaia. I don't think it should be called Achaia here. But um, yeah, you know, this mod is a work in progress. Everything is subject to change. But I have to say, I'm really liking uh, the development of this mod. I'm liking that uh, the, the modder is uh, working really hard on making this mod uh, more accurate. Uh, he had ported it to Mundus Magnus, there, and there are a lot of new mechanics added in the new version as well. So there are now Greek military colonies, Carthaginian military colonies. So when you conquer another region, uh, there's a sort of AOR recruitment system where you have to uh, construct that colony in order to start getting access to uh, local units, right? So... And here we have core province, and this is one of the aspects added in the new building, in, in the new version of this mod. So when you conquer a non-core province of the Achaeans, for example, in, I don't know, Antioch, then you have to uh, construct a military colony in order to get access to local units. So I think that's very good. Um... I have shown battles in this mod before, so I'm not going to uh, showcase another battle here. But that's pretty much everything I have to say about this update to Total Conquest. Um, I'm interested in streaming this mod, perhaps. Um, perhaps when the patch goes out of beta. Uh, but I'm very excited both about this Rome Remastered patch, about this mod, Total Conquest, which is one of the bigger mods for Rome Remastered out right now. Um, of course, there are other large mods for Rome Remastered, like Imperium Serectum, that, um, of course, uh, all the major mods need to be updated uh, before they can work with the new beta patch. And, of course, I will be covering them as they get updated. So, there are a lot of updates to come. 
a lot of interesting news to come. Maybe even some fantasy mods. Who knows? Who knows? People are working. People are working. So, that's everything I have to say about Total Conquest, uh, the Total Conquest update for the beta patch. So if you download this from the Steam Workshop through the link below, this mod will work with the new beta patch for Rome Remastered. And of course, I will have the link to the patch notes for the beta patch on um, um, in the description below where you can uh, figure out how to download this beta patch for Rome Remastered, which of course I have covered in a previous video, which you can see in the cards. Um, okay, so that's all I have to say about Total Conquest, the beta update. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like. And if you like videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.